What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got an early Star Wars Unlimited booster box. The set is not out until the 8th of March. The set is not out till next Friday. I've got a booster box today. Also, I showed you this mat in, in the last video. I forgot to... I didn't even realise it's event exclusive. How lucky am I? Oh, oh, my voice. At the moment, my voice is not holding up. So little things like that happen. And in most videos, I can cut it out uh, in an opening. Yeah, less so. Sorry about that. Massive shout out to the lovely folks at FFG, Game Genic, and Asmodi for sending this over. Look how cool this mat is. And we got an early booster box opening more than a week before the release of the set. We got a booster box opening before pre-releases start. How cool is that? The answer is very, like I said in yesterday's video, I don't know what I've done to make FFG and, and Asmode love me. I, I don't know if I deserve this. I'm not arguing. I am delighted. So, first ever booster box that I have opened of Star Wars Unlimited. Let's get rolling. Of course, the big cards we're looking for here are the showcase cards, but they are one in 12 boxes. So... Chance of hitting them from one box, well, 12, 1 in 12, 8.5% if anybody wants the maths on that. Right, where's my leader? Did I? Oh, okay, I ruined it for myself. So when I did my opening, I did an opening of a pre-release pack yesterday. And the first card was always a leader. And I got confused that the first card wasn't a leader. It means that your rare card is a leader. Which makes perfect sense. Right. What we got? Force choke. Bit rude. Okay. So there's rare smoking cinders. And now we actually get a second rare. And then we get a foil. We get a foil or a hyperspace in every, in every pack. Now. What was confusing there is you generally get one rare and one leader per pack. But it seems like if you get yourself a rare leader, that is actually a second rare card in your pack. So you get your regular rare and you get your regular leader. It just so happens that because your rare is a leader, you actually end up with two total rares in your pack. Here we go. Whereas like here, Sabine Wren becomes your leader. And that makes perfect sense. Then we got Chopper Base. And then we go. So you get a leader, you get a base, and you get a bunch of commons. Then you get some uncommons. And then you get, there's one rare slot and one foil slot. But the rare can also be a legendary. One in eight packs. Here it's a rare. It is bombing run. And then we've got our foil. Now, in theory, you would think. Now, I'm going by what's stated on the website. The, uh, the counts they've given us on the website. And they say legendaries are one in eight packs, 24 packs in a box. So I'm expecting three legendaries in my box. Similarly, we're told that hyperspace rares are two in three packs. So I am assuming that, you know, we're going to hold to that ratio. And that we're going to get with you know, two hyperspace in, a, in three packs. Then that means 16 in the box. Let's see. Now, we got a base at the front. So that means our leader is a rare leader, which is cool. And there's your Wampa, Super Laser Technician, Jawa Scavenger, Gamorrean Guards, 97th Legion. Oh, General Krell. Oh, wait. What? That's a common leader. I'm so confused. I'm just confused at this point. Either way, it's still a cool leader. And then we've got the Hyperspace Outer Rim Headhunter. Apparently, the Hyperspace Foil Rare and Legendaries are one in 50 packs. I opened one in my pre-release kit. Yeah, so I just double-checked. So the Han is a rare leader, but the IG-88 isn't. So I don't know. As a side note, I like IG-88 way more than most people should. Big fan. There was that period back when I was a kid. Oh, they're upside down. Where the, the bounty hunters all of a sudden were being all like popular. I was down for that. 
There was even a, just a, a book about Star Wars Bounty Hunters, which I read many times. Very cool. Uh, Cloudwing City Guard is one of the two cards I officially revealed for this game. I want the hyperspace version of both the cards I revealed. So there's an uncommon. There is our rare. And then we got a foil disarm. Nice. Not seeing these um hyperspace being two and three packs, I'm gonna be honest with you. We'll have to figure it out later. Jin Urso is our leader. I'll tell you what, all this is making me want to do is go and watch a bunch of Star Wars films. I'm also really behind on the TV shows. Like, I've seen Obi-Wan, and I've seen Boba Fett, and I've seen The Mandalorian. But I haven't actually watched Ashoka yet. And I'm only a few episodes into Endor. I need to catch up. Right, that looks like a hyperspace rare. And then we got our foil boss. Hey, it's another one of the bounty hunters. Nice. Okay, so not all the hyperspace are foil. I think that is just a hyperspace sneak attack. Let's put that off to the side. Wait, is that a... Look, we're new to this, all right? I think that's a hyperspace IG-88. I think that's why it was at the back of the pack, despite it being a common... When we open the next... Oh, no. I threw them everywhere. Uh, when we open the next pack... I'm still getting used to this, all right? The whole hyperspace and foil and foil... Yeah, here we go. I'm being dumb, ladies and gentlemen. I'm being dumb. Is that a hyperspace command center? Or are they all... Yeah. Right, so I think... Okay. I think command center is a hyperspace. I think we got a hyperspace resupply. And then... IG-88, who's one of my favourite Star Wars characters. I believe that is a hyperspace as well. Right, okay. And then we've got our one foil hyperspace, which is that one. Right, okay. We're back. It's confusing when you're opening a new card game, all right? And I've given their due. Yeah, right. So look at IG-88 compared to Grand Moff Tarkin. It's clearly a hyperspace. And then similarly, if we look at the base... Where's our base? Command center, very clearly our hyperspace. They've taken the border off. Right, okay. We're back. This took way too long for me to figure out. But we are back now. We know what we're doing. We know where we are. And we can roll. So there we got a lovely hyperspace consular security force. We've got a rare Wedge Antilles and a foil seasoned stormtrooper. Okay, cool. Have we got any legendaries yet in this pack? In this box? No. Well, we're only supposed to be getting three in the box, to be fair. Although, I opened two legendaries in my six pre-release packs. So, um, yeah, that was fun. As a side note, if you haven't watched my massive box opening yesterday of everything FFG sent me, I would highly recommend it. They sent me something very cool, which is... um. I'm fairly sure it's not going to be sold, put it that way. It is pretty awesome. Right. We've got a rare Fets Fire Spray. And a Foil 7th Fleet Defender. Nice. Right. So I think I need to get the Hyperspace and the Hyperspace Foil of the two cards that I revealed. Yes, right. There's your regular IG-88, which is obviously different from the Hyperspace. But we get a Hyperspace Castro City. Oh, now I want all the bases as hyperspace. That would make me super happy. Oh, no, I dropped one. I am really bad, apparently, at just holding on to these cards in this video. Oh, we got it. Wait, there's your Viper Probe Droid. Is that two hyperspace in one pack? Nice! Didn't know that was possible. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, right, there's a legendary. Super Laser Blast. Defeat all units. That seems a bit harsh. And then Lieutenant Charlson. Nice. Okay. Right. Okay. We are back. I feel like we finally got a handle on this. There was um, there was a part of me. This it, Literally this past week. I was sitting at home and I was getting hyped for Star Wars Unlimited. And I'm thinking like, I know people who work for FFG and Asmodee. 
Is it too cheeky to send an email asking if they want to send me a box to open early? Like, is that too cheeky to ask? And I realized it probably was too cheeky to ask. So I didn't send that email. <laughs> and then the box turned up with so much more. We got four surrender as a lovely hyperspace. Red free as our rare. And snow trooper lieutenant. Okay. So far, I believe my pre-release pulls might actually be better than the half of this box is. My pre-release pack was busted. We had a... Um, oh, hello. Hyperspace Grand Moff Tarkin. It looks like the hyperspace leaders are not going to be that hard to find. Now, the showcase, 1 in 12 pack, uh, 1 in 12 boxes, they are going to be hard to find. So, I feel like a lot of people are going to be going with hyperspace leaders in the short term. And then they're going to go for the showcase, the 1 in 12 boxes leaders, if they can get hold of them. There's our rare Admiral Akbar and Foil Galactic Ambition. I also feel like I should apologize for any rarity mishaps I might have made in my video yesterday, which for me was actually five minutes ago. <laughs> I'm just realizing like I didn't really have a grasp. The problem was I pulled a couple of foil hyperspace cards. So I assumed that's what hyperspace were. And I was just, yeah, all over the place. Oh, open fire hyperspace. They do look very cool, the hyperspace cards. Oh, also, as a rand... Oh, and a foil cantina, braggart. As just a random Star Wars recommendation for you all. Star Wars Pinball on the Switch. Now, maybe it's available elsewhere. I'm assuming it probably is. I played it on the Switch. Star Wars Pinball on the Switch is awesome. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to play Star Wars Pinball later. That seems about right, doesn't it? Also, I unashamedly love the prequel trilogy. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're good. Something cool's back here. Ooh, foil hyperspace Corellian freighter. Nice. So that's two foil hyperspace in this box. Right, we are halfway through. We have hit one legendary. We're expecting three in the box. We haven't hit a showcase. And we've hit a bunch of hyperspace as well. And two foil hyperspace. No hyperspace foil or legendary. But they are one per two box. And I hit one in my pre-release kit. So let, let's not be greedy, eh? Let's, um, yeah, let's not be too greedy with that. Also, I think I mentioned this in the previous video. I want to mention it again now. There is, if you're UK based, there is a, an event in London. We got a, that's our rare wolf and foil bright hope. Uh, there's a, an event at Twickenham in London. I believe it's release weekend. Oh no, wait. Am I? Tell me I've not been getting this wrong the whole time. But yeah, there's a, 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 an event a re release weekend in Twickenham over in London. And it seems to have pretty cool price support. Seems like a pretty good time. I would recommend it personally. Now, for those of you wondering, no, I'm not going. The reason I'm not going, I have three young kids. It's a weekend before Easter. Cannot spare the time. Simple as that, honestly. Literally is as simple as that. But I very much would if I could. So if anyone's around in the London area release weekend for this, go check out the tournament in Twickenham. Seems like fun. Just putting that out there. So there's an uncommon. There's an uncommon. There's an uncommon. Ooh. Our rare is security complex. And then we've got a foil wilderness fighter. Right, as a side note, so the two cards I revealed were, oh, I'm going to forget the exact names of them now. I think it's Viper Probe Droid and one of the guards. Oh, Palpatine is our leader. It's a rare leader. But sometimes, oh, I'm so confused. Uh, but sometimes the rare leaders are at the back. And then we've got Capital City Hyperspace, which I kind of love. Cloud City Wingard, this is it, this dude. So they're the and the Viper Probe Droid. They're the two that I officially revealed. If anybody gets a hyperspace or hyperspace foil or foil of those cards, hit me up on Twitter at the Wassy. We will arrange a trade. 
Hey, there's a lovely hyperspace. Because, oh, and that is the card of my playmat. Nice. Oh, we got a rare seventh sister, a legendary home one, and a foil academy training. And actually, seventh sister is a hyperspace as well. Okay. So we're up to two legendaries. Nice. I'm still getting a grip on exactly how these packs work. I'm missing hyperspaces and all sorts. Oh, that's a nice card. Hyperspace Jin Erso. That'll do, pig. Ah, oh, I do get the feeling these hyperspace leaders are going to be extremely hard, easy, sorry, easy to get hold of, which is going to be lovely. Showcase. Nah, mate. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. I don't expect to pull a showcase, like I say, you got like an 8.5% chance per box. Be nice, though. Right, there's Seventh Sister Rare, not Hyperspace. And then our foil is Rebel Pathfinder. It is kind of fun, though, doing this opening and kind of figuring out quite how good my pre-release pack was. That's kind of cool. Right, so we got Jin Erso. we got Kestro City. It's kind of weird, like all these cards, I'm just remembering like, like some of those Stormtroopers, they were some of the really early reveals that were done. And it's kind of cool seeing them now. Also, 16 card packs, not too bad. But yeah, to go back to my earlier point, play Star Wars Pinball, it's brilliant. We got our rare, and then we got a foil Sabine Wren. Nice. Cool. Okay. Right, how, how are we doing? How many packs we got left? We're going to start decanting some of the random commons and uncommons so they don't start falling over we have got seven packs remaining let's see what we've got here so we got director krennic as our leader it's also it's, it's kind of fun i've seen all these people kind of saying which cards are going to be good which decks are going to be good we don't know yet it's all theory until we start getting to tournaments oh Hyperspace Steadfast Battalion. It's one of the reasons I really want to go to this event in Twickenham. Just so I can actually see what's good. Rare Bodhi Rook. Oh, and a Foil Vanquish. It's a nice looking card. Still no showcase. Not expecting a showcase. Would love a showcase. Just so I can see one in person, if nothing else. But yeah. Not holding out too much hope. But come on, how cool would it be? Opening a box more than a week early and then actually seeing a showcase come out of it. Tell me that wouldn't be amazing. Seriously, the cards I revealed, those two. If you see them in any other version than regular. Ooh, lovely hyperspace, no good to me dead. We got a rare galactic ambition and a foil Del Mico. And that is a foil rare, which is kind of cool. But I do feel like, you know, the cards I revealed, luckily they're, they're very common and they're in starter decks as well. So that's going to make things a lot easier. Oh, we got a rare leader. We got ourselves a Grand Inquisitor as a rare leader, which is pretty cool. Oh, and then we've got Administrator's Tower as a hyperspace. That's kind of nice. But I feel like, you know, having the regular version, the hyperspace version, the hyperspace foil and the regular foil... I feel like having, and I believe they're available as all four. They should be. I believe having all four versions of that would be awesome. There's Cargo Juggernaut as a hyperspace. There is a rare Gideon Hask and a foil First Legion Snowtrooper. Because I've not pulled many hyperspace foils, admittedly. But we have pulled a couple there and they're just random commons as hyperspace foils. So surely the ones I want should be available as well. Which would be amazing, frankly. I don't know. There's just something cool about having every version of a card you revealed. It does make me kind of like a... It's like horrendously biased towards those cards. Put it that way. Horrendously biased. Oh, no. Why do I keep knocking cards out of my own hand? How is that a thing? Am I getting too excited? Love the art on Snapshot Reflexes. It's a cool looking card. Right. Here we go. Oh. So there's our rare, and we've got a 
foil hyperspace moment of peace. M maybe you want to trade it for a foil hyperspace probe droid. Put an ad out there. Maybe that could be fun. Right, three packs remaining, and then we are done with our first ever booster box. Oh, that's a nice start. We got ourselves a hyperspace Cassian Endor, a rare hyperspace leader, which is a very nice way to start. Mercenary Company, Restored Arc 170, Confiscate, Swoop Racer, Cell Block Guard. That was an early reveal, I remember. We got ourselves a rare Emperor's Legion and a foil attack pattern Delta. Now, I believe we've only seen two legendaries so far, if I'm remembering this correctly. So, unless I missed one, and it's, it's possible that I have, there should be one more legendary in the last two packs. Because they should be one in eight packs, 24 packs in a box. That gives you three legendary per box. Obviously, that might be an average. And again, I hit two legendary in my six pre-release packs. So I deserve no sympathy. But it would be nice now, wouldn't it? All right, everyone in the comment section, tell me your favorite leader that you've seen so far. And tell me your favorite Star Wars film. There's your Outer Rim Headhunter. I have a real soft spot for, um, for the prequel trilogy. I love episode one. Like, I legitimately love episode one in a very unironic way. I think it's a really good film. And I very much enjoy it. I enjoy the pod racing. I enjoy the lightsaber battle. I love Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon. Can't wait for a Qui-Gon leader as well. So let me know in the comment section. Right, last pack. Last chance for a showcase. Oh, no. Why am I throwing my own cards around so much? I don't usually do that in my openings. That's a bit weird. Oh, we got a nice hyperspace Death Star Stormtrooper. There's an uncommon. Hey, we did get one last legendary. It is aggression. And then a foil echo based defender. So we did hit our three legendaries. Exactly as we might expect. So out of a box, we obviously got a whole bunch of foils. We ended up with two hyperspace foils, which is not too bad. We ended up with three legendary cards, which is what we would expect. And we, now how many hyperspace did we get? We got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 23, including the foil. I mean, it's supposed to be two and three packs. So that's supposed to be 16. And we got more than 16 here. Just putting that out there. So, yay. Okay, cool. Right. That was it. That was my first Star Wars Unlimited booster box. One more shout out to FFG for sending this over and being awesome people. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about the game. Tell me your favorite leader. Tell me your favorite Star Wars film. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then the usual deal. Comment, like, subscribe. All that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross. And you've been watching. Wassy plays. Bye.